So you want that big ass bicep vein ripping out of your arm, huh? That's easy. You just gotta wear a tight ass shirt. You gotta wear one size lower. So if you're large, wear a medium. Damn it. I just gave my best tip at the very beginning. I was supposed to save that for the end. <sighs> Anyways, I get it. You want freaking veins ripping out of your arms. It's a sign of masculinity, strength, muscu musc muscu muscularity, baby. How do you get it? Well, let's talk about bicep veins. You can get your bicep vein to show. This vein right here is called your cephalic vein and everybody has one, but the thing is some are better than others. Everybody has a different genetic predisposition. Some people have beautiful thick tubular veins. Some people have like zigzaggy lanes like uh, Callum Von Moger has some crazy looking bicep veins. Everybody's different and you're just gonna have to do all these steps and get the vein to actually show and present itself before you know what kind of genetics you have. <laughs> So how do you get it to show? Well, here's the thing with your arm. So the actual anatomical makeup of your arm goes like this. In the middle, there's bone, obviously, right? Then there's muscle, then veins, then subcutaneous fat, and then your skin. So if you want your vein to be visible through the skin, you have to eliminate that subcutaneous fat layer that is separating and covering and inhibiting your veins from getting through to the skin. So how do you do that? Well, simply lose body fat. <laughs> I know it's not fun, it's not what you wanted to hear, but it is what it is. You gotta melt down your body fat percentage to preferably below 10% body fat, probably lower than like 15 at least. That's when you can start to see a little bit of resemblance of a vein. I'm probably at like 13% right now and you can see it peeking through, it's kind of hiding away. <laughs> but if I lift some dumbbells, then sure shit, they're gonna be popping out. And that's number two, no huge surprise there, I hope. You gotta freaking work out, man. You gotta stimulate the muscle growth. You gotta do contraction exercises to pump blood through your arms, through your muscle fibers and through your veins, because your veins are pretty much like hoses. If you were to increase the pressure through them, they have no choice but to actually expand and get larger. And how do I do this? What's the best exercise? I don't have to tell, I, I, don't, I don't know I don't have to tell you. Curls, bro, every single kind of curl you could think of. Standing barbell curl, hammer curls, cable curls. My personal favorite is dumbbell curls though. You know, when I was like 15, I used to go to the gym with a cutoff shirt in jeans and I would just curl dumbbells until I got my bicep vein to show and then I would just leave. <laughs> That's literally all I would do. So that was my introduction to the gym. And in the spirit of biceps, today's video is sponsored by Ativa Fit. They are a exercise equipment company and today we're focusing on their adjustable dumbbell set. I got the 71.5 pound dumbbell set on the home workout dumbbell stand. I threw this together a couple weeks ago and I've just been doing some little home workouts. This is actually how I made my newbie gains. I would just lift dumbbells and do dumbbell curls. Then I would go home, go in the basement and work out down in my basement with the same type of thing. And that's how I initially grew my biceps and gave them the foundation to, you know, have my veins show. I think everybody that's into working out and bodybuilding needs at least an adjustable dumbbell set at their home. You never know when something like this, you know, pandemic's gonna happen again. All the gyms closed down. I was looking so hard for an adjustable dumbbell set. The cheapest one I could find on Craigslist was like $1,500. And these are not that price. They're just a fraction of that. So I think you should stay ready so you don't have to get ready. I so wish I had something like this dumbbell set in the past three years. But you don't just have to do curls with them. You could do any sort of workout. You can do tricep extensions, shoulders, chest flies, chest press, anything. You could even use them as resistance weights to do heavy squats, but <laughs> Let's be real, we don't train legs. Jokes, okay, jokes. Train your legs, boys. And I got a deal, so you know what that means. You guys get a deal too. I'll link them down below. They got a great deal going on right now. I definitely recommend picking some of these up. Um, yeah, because you just never know what's gonna happen these days. Anyways, back to the veins. You need to be doing weighted bicep curls. That's gonna be the best way to stimulate growth in your biceps and push those veins forward to the top. So those are, to be honest, the two main things that are gonna help you have those veins kind of pop out. But the next thing is nearly just as important, and that is to increase your cardiovascular endurance. Yes, I'm talking about cardio. 
you see cardio increases your blood flow and blood flow increases your standing metabolic rate, which is your blood pressure. And if you have low blood pressure, then your veins are gonna be wider and thicker. Now your choice of cardio is really up to you, whatever you prefer, anything that gets that heart pumping blood. Me, I like to just run. I think it's very soothing and kind of um, meditative in a way. So I run um, about three miles a day, probably like 15 to 20 miles per week. So maybe uh, work up to that, or if you already do, do even more. Now those are the three big things that are gonna make the most difference. You can't ignore those whatsoever, but I did leave one little bonus top secret secret to the very end <laughs> and this is something you can actually ingest it's a supplement that is going to stimulate growth of your veins and that is called l-arginine l-arginine is a supplement that when it hits your bloodstream it is converted into a nitric oxide which is a vasodilator which expands your blood vessels I, I, I kind of try not to do that too much on here we're a bit more bro sciencey but uh that's how it works and L-arginine is prevalent in things like coffee, pomegranate, spinach, but the big one is beets. I don't eat beets. Never have, never will. So, uh, yeah, eat your beets, bro. Eat up your beets. I beat, you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> So that's it pretty much. The one other thing that I will mention is, like I said at the beginning, to wear a little bit more restrictive clothing. If you have just a little bit of pressure pushing down on your bicep, then it's gonna cut off the blood circulation and the blood will build up in your bicep, making it kind of pop a little bit. That's the strategy I'm going with here. If, if I was wearing a looser shirt, I surely wouldn't have, you know, as prevalent of a vein showing. So something to keep in mind if you don't mind looking a little bit like a gym bro douchebag. But yeah, that's it. My uh, four step method to get your bicep vein showing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn post notifications on and until next time, peace.